But we'll finish Rugby Union Weekly this week where we started reflecting on the sad death of South African great Joost van der Westezen, who's died at the age of 45. It's fair to say van der Westezen was an inspiration in two separate ways. The first as a scrum half of the highest calibre, who won 89 caps for the Springboks, scored a staggering 38 tries and won the World Cup in 1995. And the second as a man who fought so bravely and stoically against the debilitating and terminal motor neurone disease. A little over two years ago, with assistance from his brother Peter, van der Westezen spoke to Sonia McLaughlin. Can I ask you how you're coping? It's going very well. I've seen you here today. The piercing blue eyes that you were famous for, they're still as vibrant as ever, and you're smiling as I say that. But you're in a wheelchair and your body is very much failing you. Do you have dark days, Eust? Although my body is failing me, my brain is 100%. And I'm creating memories of where I go. I wonder, though, when your mind, as you say, is still alive still as active as ever. How difficult is that to cope with this disease psychologically, knowing that this athletic body that you were famous for can no longer do the things you want it to do? In the beginning, it was very emotional. I had a choice. I know, I sit at home and die. Or I go on and live my life. You said there were times in my career when people said I was arrogant. I only cared about myself. Now I know they were right. Is there any sense in your mind that motor neurone disease has been a blessing to you? as well in a way I'm glad I had MND I know now what life is about